Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a bot to your Discord server. So a bot's going to allow you to have a bunch of different commands and allow you to post links and stuff automatically and do a lot of really cool stuff. So if you wanna add a bot to your Discord server or channel, whatever you wanna call it, navigate over to a website that is called, right here, carbonitex.net. Uh, there are a ton ton of different websites that have list of bots you can utilize on Discord. This one I have found to be the most robust and has some of the most prevalent and the most, I guess you would say, popular bots that most people use on their Discord server. Now, again, choose the one you want. For the purposes of this video, we're going to choose one here called Wildbot right here. Uh, all you need to do is a couple of things. Number one, make sure that you are logged into your Discord account. So as you can see here, I'm logged into my Discord account. Uh, the server here that I created uh, in another tutorial is called Technology Guru. This is the server that I want to add the bot to. So let's go ahead and navigate back over to Carbonite X, and then let's go ahead and once we're logged into Discord, click the green green add to add bot to server button. And then once you do that, it's going to say, hey, we want to connect this bot to your Discord. It will say this will allow the wild bot to add a bot to the server. Uh, and then also it's going to allow you to select the server. Now I have two different servers here. I want to add it to this specific server. So click the drop down box, select the server you want to add the bot to. And then what you're going to do is you're going to authorize this bot to be an administrator or depending on the permissions that the bot's wanting to use. And then once you click authorize, the bot will then be on to your Discord. So now what we can do is we can tab back over to Discord, if I can do that now, and then what you're going to see underneath online, within the server, you're going to see Wildbot, and it's going to let you know with a little tag that it is a bot. Now, one thing I like to do whenever I go ahead and install a bot on a server is I like to go up to my channel or server, whatever you want to call it, click the down arrow, and then go to server settings. Under server settings, you're going to see something that says roles. Click on that option there. You're going to be able to create a new role that will label it as a bot. So what we can do is we can go up here and go ahead and click the addition symbol here and, and go ahead and title the new role as bot, B-O-T, and then change the color to something that's going to be easy to see and then you can go ahead and give it administrator purposes if you want to and then click done. Now what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to click on the bots here on the side and then click the addition symbol here and apply a new role. And then if we do that, what it's going to do, it's going to go ahead and label the wild bot as a bot, right? And it's going to color it over as the color of that specific role. So that way you can tell the difference between the bots and the actual people that are in the server. Now, every bot is different as far as how to figure out all of the different commands and the command list. But as you can see here, if you go back to Carbonite X, normally on the bots, it will let you know under usage. So if you go to usage right here, it'll let you know what you need to do. So, so for the in the instance for the wild bot that we just installed, what we'll need to do is we'll need to send plus plus help to the bot to see a full command list. So if we go back over to Discord, so I'm gonna go ahead and navigate back over to Discord. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the channel and what we're going to do is we're going to message the, the bot here and we're gonna type in plus plus help just like that. And then what it's going to do, it's going to give us a list of commands. So if you can see here, all the commands that you're going to want to know for that specific bot will be accessed here. And again, it is going to be different per bot. So you need to go through and look at the usage tab here on Carbonite X, and it will actually let you know what you need to do to get access to the list of commands. Now, I hope this helps you out in a way. Uh, if, it, if you need to know more details about Discord in general, like the basic setup and the basic usage of Discord, I have another video that I did uh, on that recently. I will link that as well if you're looking Looking for more uh, tutorials in regards to Discord. If you have any questions, put those in the comment section below, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys in the next one.